Hi Brad from WordPress Sites. This is the third video for about how to create menus and WordPress menus, how to add fancy drop downs, how to make changes to your drop down. Uh, I've been working on a site for a client and uh, I've created uh, some drop downs here. She, she's created some as well. I, I just have to make some changes to them actually. So uh, I thought I'd let you know how to, uh, if you just want to move these pages around, if you want to change the order of these drop down pages, it's very easy. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I've shown you how to move these ones around. If you want to move them around, it's very simple. You just drop and drag them in the, in the, uh, in the WordPress back end. But I'll show you how to change the, the order of these now rather than delete them. You can delete them if you don't have any content in them yet and just create new ones. <coughs> but I'll show you I'll show you another way which is preferable, especially if you've already got content in there, you don't want to be deleting them. So uh, log into your uh, your WordPress dashboard and go to pages on the left hand side, click on pages. Now we've got all the pages here, we've got the top level pages and now these ones here with the little dash to them are the, uh, included in the drop down. Now just to change these, all you do is click on them. So you click on the one that you want to change, you want to change the order of, you just click on it and that didn't work. It was actually quick edit, not edit. Make sure you click on quick edit. So we'll click on uh, quick edit and we'll, we'll click on, we'll find one, uh, body and mind's got one, two, three, four, five in the drop down. So we'll, uh, we'll change aromatherapy. So click, we want to change the order of aromatherapy. Currently it's first, um, we'll change that to second. So click on quick edit and you see we go down here. Now this is quite interesting, we've got a lot of different, uh, you can put a password in here and protect that page if you like. Uh, but you look over on the right hand side here, the parent's body and mind, if you want to change that to another parent you can easily do that. So if you put them in the wrong order and you're starting to do some search engine optimization or whatever and you, you want to... Uh, you want to change the order of them to make sure it's really good for SEO or, or for another reason. You can just do that here. You can just ch easily change the parent. Uh, you can change the template that you're using for a particular page. You might have a landing page which is already on your, on your site uh, or a blog page, uh, a page with no sidebars. There's different templates you can use rather than just the default template. So you can change that here. Uh, status uh, published. You can actually <coughs> actually change the status from published to draft, so uh, or pending review. So that's really easy. Now the order. If you want to change the order, see we'll change it to uh, change aromatherapy to five. We we'll just change the order to five there, and we update it. And that's all you need to do. So that's really really good. So here I am here back in the front end. And I've changed aromatherapy under body and mind to fifth on the order. So here it is now. So if you want to get you know, particular about where you want things in your menu, which is fine, you know, you're putting a lot of time and effort into creating and developing your site. So you can very, very easily do that. <coughs> so it's a really good little trick um, to change things around. And it just shows you how, how flexible uh, the WordPress menu is. It, it really is fantastic. The top developers on the work on thesis and some, um, and some of the big themes are uh, <coughs> they really do speak highly of the WordPress menu system it is just unbelievable it's so flexible and it's amazing what you can do with it you can create menus for your footer you can have you know three or four different menus in your footer and, uh, and you can put menus all over the place and they're just so flexible it's, it's really really good I'll just talk a little bit about my forum. I've started a forum recently and I've, I'm asking my clients to come to the forum and post their questions in the forum so I can reply in the forum and I'm, I'm including links to videos that I'm making to help them uh, understand how to use WordPress. So if you've got any questions or need some help with WordPress, come to my forum, register. Don't leave any links in my forum because I'm not allowing links for new members until they've been there for a while and, uh, and post your questions and I'll, I'll reply them and I might even make a video to help you out. So.